Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the road to random. Today it's all about the title challenge, the league action. It's an unlikely title challenge at the moment. I'll explain why in just a second. Today we're up against Billericay Town away. Again, it's the side from Essex. We beat them in the cup last season, now we're looking for revenge. So this could be a tough tie. I mean, if you look at the fixtures over the last couple of the games, we've done very, very well. Disappointing draw in the last episode, Metropolitan Police, we couldn't get revenge. But they, they equalised in the last few minutes, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, 85 minutes. It was just a disappointing one, really. But we've done all right since then. Beat Bogner Regis 2-0. Danny Boy and Yakubu scoring two games in a row there. Disappointing, really, to draw with Folkestone 0-0. But two back-to-back -back wins, including a big win over Lace and a possible title challenger as well. Um, it's good to see the lit man getting goals in both games. And you'll notice another name there. Tom Pope. He's our new striker. He's a man probably known to some, 32 years old, an experienced striker, very good stats, especially for the division, as a lot of the transfers I've made have been. League One player, really, so I'm very, very happy to bring in him. He was on a free transfer. To be honest with you, it's it's. I'm in a situation where I'm going to be playing two up front, and it, it's going to be Danny Boy with either Yakubu or Tom Pope. So, an experienced striker to, to go with the youth of Danny Boy hopefully will add some more sort of steel up front some constant goals and as I say we've won the last two we're unbeaten in what's that seven league games so we're not losing that's what's important that was probably the absolutely worst thing to say wasn't it Billericay Town away today let's have a look at the league table okay then we are top of the league but Stones Town have two games in hand over us with two points clear so if they win their two games they go top of the league so it's it's gonna we are probably underdogs at this point, but you never know if Stones Town mess up, we are right there to take advantage. We have to do our job, and that's win games like today against Billericay Town. Billericay in eighth, a playoff push could be there for them. They ain't far off it, so they'll be looking for the results. So will we? This is the team that's gonna play today. It is the diamond formation, the four one two one two. No wingers. I'm not playing any wingers. Um, Made a couple of changes. Dale Eve is the goalkeeper at the moment. He's getting some game time. I promised him some game time and he's, he's, he's done all right since then. Seven in the last five games, seven rain some. He's done all right. I didn't really want to drop Jordan Smith, who's been really good all season, but Dale Eve deserves some game time, so that's fair enough. Uh, Tom Brunt comes in at left back. Daryl Leahy, the low knee. He just wasn't quite fit enough. Um, I'm also going to bring off Joey Jones and throw in Ollie Clark there, who's just a little bit fitter at the moment. Um, Anthony Price comes in and does Nathan Rooney. I have been playing Sam Evans and uh, Joey Jones actually in those central midfield positions, but these two come in just to have some more steel fitness wise we could do with a break. So the lit man keeps his place in the attacking midfield role. He's done very, very well. And it's Jakubu and Danny Boy up front. Tom Pope drops to the bench. Hopefully that's the partnership that can get us some goals. It's Billericay Town away. It's going to be a tough game. Let's do this. Okay, then they're playing on a very, very sort of long pitch, actually, aren't they? Look at this. This is this is weird. It's very straight. What is this? It's like a little box, a rectangle. But hmm, I don't like it. The match stats are in the way of the goal. This is this is horrible. We've got a highlight here. You keep into Danny Boy, and Danny Boy's at the post, although I didn't see it. Sorry, match stats. You've got to go. What is this pitch? I mean. Lipman's corner, headed, it's gone in, Andy Parrish has scored, it's his second goal of the season, we've scored, that's what matters, even though this is one narrow, narrow pitch. Actually, it may play into our advantage, it's a very good goal from Parrish actually, um, good, to well taken on the spin. This may play into our advantage, we aren't playing wingers, we aren't playing wide football, we're playing it down the middle. So less space at wide well, should mean less chances for them, theoretically. Right, Johnson, Taff. Oh, I remember him making a goal for us. And he's made another one. He's making, he's made, oh. I've got my words mixed up as Isaac Lane grabs his 18th of the season. I was going to say, Taff, I remember him making a goal for them against us last season. He's made another one. What a cross, though, that is. That is an amazing cross. Lane to be parished as a ball, which it, you can't really complain too much about because it's just well taken from the striker, but it's all about the cross there. We come forward now. Why is Parrish taking the throne and getting out of position like that? 
Josh Pasley can take that throw. That's, come on guys, common sense. Eve's long kick. Here we go then with Price to Yakubu. Yakubu's fouled. Main Worthington, he's going to get a booking maybe on the edge of half time. It's a red card! Apparently Worthington went in with two feet, so it's a red card, and that's a game changer right on half time. Billericay won, Whiteleaf won at the break. It's a massive moment, really. Um, I'm just going to tell them the result will come if they keep playing the way they are, and it probably will, to be fair. Danger Lane is lame. Lane spinning away, good win by Clark. The defensive midfielder, that's what he came in for. That's, that's, a, that's a bit risky, guys. I know we're playing it out, but Jesus. It's just giving away. Bricknell, oh my God. Oh my God. Billy Bricknell. Billy Bricknell. What a stupid name for a stupid goal for a stupid team. Screw Billy Ricky, you Billy Bricknell. Go back to your salon. Oh. Can't lose to Billy Ricky. How are we meant to win the league if we're going to lose to Billericay? Let's get Tom Pope on. Tom Pope for... Oh, I don't want you to lose Tanny Boy's pace. For your Kubu, why not? Let's get a Lipman for Sam Evans and get Anthony Price in behind the two strikers. See if it makes a difference. I don't think it will. For the highlight before the substitutions. It looks like it could be theirs. It's over the top. It's Bricknell to finish this. He's got a man over. He didn't need the man. Whiteleaf have won the game. Billy Bricknell has scored two. It's 3-1. It's all gone wrong in Essex. This is a really well taken goal by Bricknell actually. Across the goalkeeper. Eve could probably do better. Should probably be disappointed to be beaten across the goalkeeper like that. It's well taken. It's 3-1 against the 10 men of Whiteleaf. This is... Probably the most disappointing result of the season. That's that's not an exaggeration, is that? Oh god, don't make it four. Oh. Final whistle's not much better, is it? Three one. What a disappointing result. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. No. <sighs> we've played a whole second half there and we've lost we've lost the second half to ten men. Can't afford to be doing that. Did Staines lose? I think Staines lost as well. Oh my god, Worthing beat Staines. Worthing, who are in 11th, beat Staines. That is the ultimate let off there. That is the ultimate let off. I mean, you could look at it and go to it's a mixed opportunity because if Staines were going to lose, we could have sort of closed down the gap. But yeah, this is going to be a two game episode and we've got Worthing in our next game. So let's edit that across. Let's get to that one. And let's put this right. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this you see? Billericay Town offer me the job interview after destroying me 3-1. That's some sound logic there, Billericay. I mean, it kind of makes it worse that they didn't even have a manager. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, decline. 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 Probably they offered me the job. Okay then, I've made some changes for today's game. It's probably reverted back to the side that was winning actually. Tom Pope comes back in for Yakubu. Jones in there in the ball in the midfield position. Evans, Sam Evans for Anthony Price. The reason being Evans over Price is the fact that Price is, is a lone player and at the end of the season he is going to be gone. We need someone to really step up. Evans has done that so far so I, did, I think he deserves that chance to stay there. Clark plays again as long as he's fit enough, which he is. Um, Lee he comes back into the back line, as does Waddle. Um, I'm going to play Waddle over pace, I think. Probably just a better centre back. Um, Parrish and Pasley make it up. Eve keeps his place for now. For now. Actually, in fact, you know what? Josh Pasley is going to be dropped. Um, we'll get Harry Pace back in there. Yeah, that's, that's, that seems about right. We really need to bounce back here. We, it's, it's a really important part of our season. We need to start winning more league games. Starts here. White lead versus Worthy. Stupid rectangular pitch. Here's the Lippmann. Evans to Pope. He's got in behind. Pope to Danny Boy. And just like that, we lead by a goal to nil. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself because it didn't quite work out like that last time. It's a really well taken goal. Pope does so well to get behind. He's an experienced striker, he hasn't really got pace, but he got him behind, found Danny Boy. The partnership between them two 
He's flourishing a little bit since Pope's come in. Here's Uchechi. Leahy wins it back. That's brilliant from the lonely left back. Evans to Pope. Pope flicks it on and Danny Boy's got pace to burn. Danny Boy back to Evans as we come forward into the half. It's in towards Jones. Jones back to Pope who's hit the post. And Worthing are lucky. Lucky not to be 2 0 down there. Tom Pope probably should have scored. It's a corner for them. It's headed away. They parish couldn't get there. Chapman back in there. Small bone. This is good defending from us. We might be able to break with Pope over the top to Danny Boy, who's got his pace in. It's Danny Boy. It's 2 0. And everything is going so, so right. Where last game it went so, so wrong. Danny Boy has his fourth goal of the season. It's 2 0. Again, it's just a breakaway goal with the pace of Danny Boy. Something we saw a lot last season. Not so much this season, but we saw it there. And we are dominating the game. We are dominating the scoreline. And we fully deserve this 2 0 win. OK, then half time. And I'm going to bring off Ollie Clark. It's looking a bit tired out there. Get Joey Jones into the defensive midfield position. And bring on Nathan Rooney. Let's give him some game time. Hopefully that won't change things too much. I didn't make a team tour there. Uh oh. That probably wasn't good. Here is Rooney. Rooney's got a point to prove, really, because he's lost his place in the squad. He was the hero at the end of last season, of course you'll remember. But he's got a point to prove. He needs to get back into goal-scoring form. Danny Boy's lost out there, and here come them on the break with Clark. That's really good play, but Jones has won it off him, and that's the end of the highlight. Joey Jones in that midfield role, he's just... He's, he's, the, Ingo, he's the N'Golo Kante of Whiteley. Joey Jones is the N'Golo Kante of Whiteley. All right, the Lippman. Danny Boy, Evans, Rooney to Pope, this is nice, into the lit man. Really short passing, good football. We don't have that wide winger though, so we have to do well to work this into the box. We need we need the lit man to be playing the smart passes. Here's Evans, into Pope, Pope to Danny Boy, and Danny Boy has a hat trick. He's backing, oh for God's sake, he's offside. Why, why do you wait till I get sort of going and then? Interesting to note, the two strikers are both on eight ratings. That's a poor free kick from the Lippmann. And Clark can bring it forward. He's the danger man for them. He scored a lot of goals this season. Clark, he's got a man over if he can use him. He's fired it across the box and will buy. Couldn't get there. Will buy. Shouldn't, shouldn't mock as they're attacking, should I? Evans clears it. Rooney, Rooney get there. He didn't get there. Small bone to Clark. And that was for mocking them, wasn't it? Lewis Clark's 18th goal of the season. It's 2-1. Okay. All right, I won't mock you again. All right. Small bone. Must resist penis joke. Okay, that's intercepted by Parrish. And Evans might be able to spread a counter-attack forward. Pope's played very, very well, actually, today. Better than Yakubu did in the last game, that's for sure. We're keeping the ball with 20 minutes to go. That's probably a smart idea. Rooney into Danny Boy. He's on a hat-trick. Pope now, he's away on the right. He's crossed it in, and Danny Boy, how has he not got a hat-trick? That is a fantastic save by Hobbs in their goal. That is an amazing save. Eve with the long kick-up. Pope's won the flick on, and the Lipman might be able to get onto it. Ah, super speed isn't quite with the superhero that is the Lipman there, is it? dun dun dun, dun. We need some sort of jingle, don't we? Danny Boy's in, and there's the hat-trick. Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. It's 3-1, and I, I can relax a little easier now. It's a good ball by Rooney as well in the build-up. That didn't go unnoticed by me. I said previous self in, in his substitute appearances. It's a good assist there for Nathan Rooney. Very happy with that. Into the final 10 minutes, I want to make a change. Josh Pashley in for Andy Parrish, who's got a yellow card. I don't want him to get sent off. And I'm going to bring on Anthony Price too. Sam Evans has played very well. Um, I'm going to bring Lipman off, actually. Get Anthony Price on there. Um, just, to sh just to add some extra legs in the midfield. Hopefully, we can see this out now. We've been the better side. We fully deserve the win, really. There's another highlight here. This isn't full time. There's going to be a highlight here. Pope to Danny Boy. Can he get four? It's Danny. Oh, what a save that is from Hobbs. He's had a good goal. He's had a good game, the goalkeeper. Rooney's corner. It's another one. Take two. Let's go. Rooney's corner. Waddles up there, and that's well, well caught by Hobbs. 30 seconds to go. The game is more or less over, especially with kicks like that. 
and we create one last highlight over the top towards Price. Well cut out. Here's Pope. Price couldn't find anybody. Saw the pass on, didn't find him. Well cut out really in the end. Five seconds to go. It's a good, good home win against mid-table work in games we should be winning, but we've done it well. I'm very, very happy with that. And we now need to see how did Staines Town get on. I don't know whether I mentioned this, but they were playing fourth place. They were playing the team that were in fourth. So maybe, just maybe, we're going to get a bit of luck here. Let's take a look. No. No. No, no we're not going to get any luck. A thoroughly demanding 3-0 win for Staines. Away to Burgess Hill, who were in fourth. They're dropping down now down to fifth. It means that it's, it's exactly how it was. Anything you can do, I can do better at the moment. Um, it's a really, really tight, tight table, isn't it? 32 play for us, 30 for them. Two points in it. Will we hold on and win this league? That's the real question. Okay then, a good win to end the episode. I think I'm going to play a few. Let's get a fair bit back into this season. Those are the games we have left. Um, I should mention now, we have a tough game to end the season. Leatherhead are in the playoff positions. They've been a title rival throughout the season. And they've sort of dropped off. I think they won't be the title rivals. But that's a tough game to end the season. Hopefully we'll have it wrapped up by then. Hopefully we won't need a last minute win to win the title. Although that was hell of dramatic for the episode, wasn't it? So, yeah, it's not all bad. Yeah, I'm going to play a bit bit more. We do have an Izmir League Cup round uh, four, I believe. Yeah, fourth round game there. I'm going to play through that, I think. I haven't quite decided where we're going to come back. But I'm going to play a few games. Come back in that sort of area there. See where we're at. See how the season is going to end. Hopefully, it's going to end well for White Links. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, why don't you like the video, subscribe to the channel, or drop me a comment. What do you think about Tom Pope? Is he the journeyman, really, that, that you would expect to sign at a side like this? Or is he more high profile? Yakubu? Hmm? You know, a bit of a big name. How good is it to see Danny Boyd back in the score sheet? Back getting a hat trick? which he hasn't done for a while, so it's good to see him scoring. Until next time, from me to you, goodbye.